Today we're going to talk about two of the best motion graphics and compositing software, and these are After Effects and Apple Motion. They are both great, but they have differences in their tools, features, and what they can offer, and this is what we're going to talk about. Motion Graphics After Effects has been known over the years, and it is still being known as the go-to software for creating motion graphics for different purposes, whether it be branding, advertising, creating media content, or anything else. But Motion is also growing and becoming better, especially with Motion 5 that has a redesigned interface for better experience in addition to other new features, but most importantly, Motion introduced a system for preset behaviors that can be combined to create realistic animations. I would say that both are great in motion graphics, but also I believe that After Effects has more resources, whether it be learning materials or assets that you can use on your projects. Compositing After Effects excels at compositing because this is precisely what it was designed for. Whether you want to do something simple or use it for compositing films, After Effects has the necessary tools to do so. That's why it is being used by many hobbyists and professionals for this purpose, and it is even being used professionally in big budget productions. This does not mean that Apple Motion is less important, because it can do pretty much anything that After Effects does, since it has many tools for creating masks, cleaning, rotoscoping, keying, creating effects, and even 3D stuff as well. Freedom, Flexibility, and Compatibility Adobe After Effects has a wider scope of features that's why it is attractive to most users in motion graphics and VFX, especially professionally in the industry. Even though motion is catching up lately, the fact that After Effects is industry standard says a lot about its capabilities and what it can do in big budget projects. When it comes to compatibility, motion is highly compatible with Final Cut Pro, and After Effects is naturally compatible with Premiere Pro because they are made by the same company like motion and Final Cut Pro are. But After Effects is compatible with another great software, which is Cinema 4D. This allows you to create 3D stuff inside After Effects, which is something that does not exist in Apple Motion, at least not in the same way. I mean, Motion has some 3D features, but After Effects can use Cineware, which does not only let you drag and drop native Cinema 4D files into After Effects, but also gives you the ability to manipulate those 3D elements and render directly from within After Effects using Cinema 4D Lite which is greater than any 3D feature Motion could ever come up with currently. The Interface I would say that Motion has a friendlier user interface that you can navigate your way through faster and easier, but After Effects interface is excellent when it comes to working on complicated projects because it is designed for professional use rather than being friendly. You might find it a little bit confusing and difficult to find certain things, especially if it is your first time using a compositing, motion graphics, or visual effects software, but you will get used to it in no time. And in the end, it is going to be worth it because it will help you a lot later on. The Learning Curve Both Apple Motion and After Effects are relatively easy to use because they are intuitive and designed to make sure that everything is clear and efficient at the same time but something that might make a difference for you is that there is just more resources for After Effects users, more plugins, more templates, and more tutorials by a long shot. If there is anything you want to learn how to do, chances are someone else done it before and probably they created a tutorial about it. If you are a creator who wants to increase their productivity and deliver great results, I highly recommend trying Invento Elements. This is an online platform that has hundreds of thousands of different elements like graphics, video stock, backgrounds, audio, video, and much more. So basically, if you are a graphic designer, a motion designer, a video editor, a web developer, a filmmaker, or if you do anything creative, you will find Invento Elements very useful because tens of thousands of creatives are using it already. For example, if you are a motion design artist, you will find great templates and elements for Apple Motion and After Effects that will help you do your job faster and better. You can do all this for just $16.50 per month with unlimited downloads for those elements as long as your subscription is active. If you want to try Invento Elements, you can find links in the description. Pricing When it comes to pricing, Apple Motion is a one-time fee of $50, which makes it much more attractive in this regard compared to After Effects subscription plan of $20.99 per month. So if you are a beginner who can't afford to pay the subscription and you just want to do stuff for your projects, probably it is better to start off with Motion. But if you can afford the price of After Effects, 
and you are planning to join the industry and work on professional projects, then After Effects probably is going to be your best choice. And you can also try them both and decide for yourself which one is better based on your experience. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.